Learning how to read shots off the backboard is important to strengthening your defensive skills and adapting to different defensive situations in Rocket League. As you climb the ranks in the game, you'll need to be well versed in defending as your opposition start using the backboard more often, whether that's saving a double tap or a pass directly coming down in front of your goal off the corner of your backboard. Hey, I'm Jack. I've been playing Rocket League since 2016 and on this channel I help people improve at the game. In today's video, I'm going to go through how you can improve your backboard defense. I'll break the video down into three parts. The importance of backboard reads and defense, breaking down backboard clears and saves, then going through some training packs to improve your backboard defense. Let's get into it. Throughout your time playing Rocket League, you'll discover the many ways your opponents can score on you. Double taps, air dribbles, ceiling shots, you name it. This is why it's so important that we learn defensive backboard reads as soon as possible. As you put more time into Rocket League, both your defensive skills and knowledge on how to defend your goal improves over time. However, at the same time, your opponents also start to know how to utilize the backboard to score on you. For me, I notice a lot of my opponents in the Grand Champion rank utilize the backboard to go for double taps. I find it so difficult to read a shot coming directly from above my head and into my goal. Hence, the reason why you have to save so many double taps in ranks like Grand Champion, as it's quite an effective way for your opponents to score. But a backboard read in Gold or Platinum is going to look a lot different to a backboard read in Champion or Grand Champion. For lower ranked players, you're likely not going to see many double taps. However, backboard reads are going to likely be watching your opponent shoot the ball into your backboard and then either wait to take possession of the ball or clear it down the field. For high ranked players though, it's going to be predicting what your opponents are trying to do before they get the chance to set up a shot. Sometimes it's even having a dedicated player on the backboard to read any incoming shots. There are quite a few benefits when learning backboard clears. They can actually help relieve a lot of pressure off your team and can be used as a potential scoring option, whether that's putting a shot on goal or passing it to a teammate positioned downfield. Backboard clears are very similar to power shots. The best time to hit the ball is directly after it has hit the backboard. Timing is critical to a successful backboard clear, but also knowing to stop boosting at the right time. I noticed quite a lot of players, including myself, be way too quick when trying to hit a backboard clear and completely whiffing the ball. Whenever I'm trying to learn something in Rocket League, I like to break it down. Let's break down a backboard clear into three parts. The position of your car, the timing of the bounce, and hitting the ball. When positioning your car on the backboard, you want to place it slightly lower to where the ball is going to bounce. Otherwise, the ball will hit your car and will lose all of its momentum. What you're trying to do here is actually convert all that momentum back into a powerful clear. This is why timing is critical to hitting a successful backboard clear. You want to make sure that your car is lined up perfectly to time the jump. Really focus on trying to jump as soon as the ball bounces off the wall for the most powerful clear. When going to hit the ball, you also want to make sure you're actually hitting it into the right position on the field. For example, if you hit the ball up to the ceiling, it's likely your opponents will then have another chance at setting up an attack. So look for a teammate downfield to pass it to, or if there's no offensive option available, try your best to clear the ball into your corners. This position on the field is where your opponents are least likely to score on you. From time to time, you may actually notice all your opposition pushed up way too closely to the play, allowing yourself to set up a shot on goal. This circumstance is probably most common in the lower ranks because as you rank up, your opponents start to notice how to position themselves on the field, allowing themselves to have all options covered. Not only can the backboard be useful in making defensive clears, it can also be used to make last second saves across your net. The key part to learn here with making backboard saves is learning how to control your car when jumping off the backboard. Practice jumping off the backboard and positioning your car ready to make a save. Make sure to practice on both sides of the backboard too as learning how to air roll your car in different directions allows you to become more comfortable in a variety of saving situations. Similar to backboard clears, it's important to hit the ball into a useful position when making a backboard save. Again, that can either be to a teammate, into your corner or having enough control to take possession of the ball to set up the next play yourself. There are quite a few defensive backboard read as well as backboard clear training packs available in the game, so I'll go through three that I've found that I find very useful to training your backboard reads as well as your backboard clears. Backboard Clears by Whey Protein is great for beginners, learning how to first read the backboard. It also allows you to reset the shot every time so you can actually nail down the exact timing of a backboard read. Also mixing it up to emulate a higher level play by trying to predict where the ball will bounce 
after it hits the backboard. I find this pack in particular also emulates competitive gameplay in knowing how to read a variety of shots coming off the backboard. Oftentimes this is a great way to learn how to intercept your opponent from double tapping into your goal. It's also useful to utilize the mirror current shot button available in custom training. This allows you to mirror the shot on the other side of the field so you can practice air rolling both to the left and to the right if the situation requires it. Basic Wall Defense by Jay is a great pack to learn the timing of backboard clears. In this pack, you can pay attention to the bounce of the ball and also learning where you want to hit the ball on the field. I find quite a few players develop the bad habit in trying to just launch the ball in any position on the field. Oftentimes it just leads to your opponent getting the ball and setting up another attack for you to defend. This then also puts pressure on you and your team, often leading to double commits, triple commits, bumping into one another, and usually result in a goal being scored by your opponents. Shot placement is very important in Rocket League, both on offense and on defense. The final pack is Defensive Backboard Reads by Nathan. This training pack helps you learn how to predict the trajectory of the ball before it hits the backboard, knowing how to position your car and also how to hit the ball. As you can see in these clips, I was actually quite challenged with this training pack, trying to position my car before the ball even bounced off the backboard. It also goes to show that it's never too late to revisit old training packs that you used to grind back in the day. There is such a high skill ceiling to Rocket League, so practice is most important to staying consistent and being able to perform well in this game. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm probably going to spend about an hour or so using this pack before actually hitting competitive tonight. I mean, I look so rusty here. I'll leave the training pack codes down in the description below if you want to give them a try. So there we have it. Improving your defense will also help improve your defensive gameplay as a whole, as well as making you a better player overall. Reading the backboard is quite a difficult skill to learn, but you will start to develop an idea of the best defensive positions to be in as you play the game more. As many say, defense wins championships, and this is the exact same in Rocket League, so don't neglect defensive practice. Have you ever wondered why Rocket League is so addictive? Click on this video as I share a little story about the game with you. I'm Jack, and I'll see you next video. Catch up!